Look at all the junk in there. Can you see all that junk? All right, I'm just gonna show you everything that came in this box and tell you a little bit about this thing. It definitely did work pretty good in the pool. It didn't get stuck on anything. You'll see in the footage, I think I got it a like a couple times on camera where it went over the drain at the bottom of the pool. A lot of these pullbacks will get caught up on that drain at the bottom of your pool if your in-ground pool has a drain. This one, I think, geez, I think it went over that drain at least three or four times and it never got stuck. And this is the first one that I actually have has a charging station. So it comes with a charging station. The one nice thing I think about this charging station is, because some people will forget to do it, most of the other pullbacks out there, you have to plug a cord in to the robot. And then when you unplug the cord, you got to remember to put the cap back on or twist a, put a cover back on by twisting the cover on or pushing it in. Well, with this docking station, you don't have to ever remember that. So pretty slick. It has these two little metal things here, kind of push in, but that's how it charges. And then on the bottom, right down here, it just touches them two metal parts and charges it up. I think that is an awesome feature that this thing has that most of the other ones don't. And now that I have it on the bottom side, you will see it has, it has two scrub brushes in the front and two in the back. You'll see when this runs in the pool, they, these spin simultaneously to help it kind of steer through your pool. And it's got two big tank track type things on the sides to maneuver it through your pool. And it worked flawless when it comes to that. It did not get stuck anywhere. It didn't get stuck on the steps. It did a real good job. The pool wasn't really that dirty, but it did a good job. It does have right here on this side and right here, there's like ultrasonic eyes or something that helps it see the sides of your pool. So it does have that. It came with a quick user guide. This is all I used to run it. I read the user manual a little bit, but really all you have to do is read this and it will work fine. Just like a couple of the other ones out there, it does also come with an app. But if you don't want to mess with the app, it seems to work just fine without even messing with the app. Myself, I really don't care about no apps. I'm happy to just take it out, charge it up, turn it on, push a couple buttons, and put it in my pool. That's all I want to do. So I don't care about no app. But some of you guys out there might like apps. So, and it does come with this big user manual, which don't be scared. It's not that big because it has, what, one, two, three, four, five different languages in it. Yeah, it says in the manual, the BeatBot AquaSense is good for up to 2,260 square foot. One thing I thought was pretty cool that this BeatBot had is when it was finished, it, would, it stops right at the top of the wall, not at the bottom of the wall. It will stop at the top of the wall where you can just grab a hold of it. And it gives you, it stays there for 10 minutes. So you'd have to be out there within 10 minutes. If you don't get out there within 10 minutes, then you're using your hook. So that did work. I didn't let it sit there for 10 minutes. I probably let it sit there for three or four minutes, and then I pulled it out. That, I thought, was a really cool feature on this. I've never seen that in any of these other ones. Uh, it says in the manual, if you clean just your floors, it will clean for around three and a half hours. Now, the floors in the pool that I'm doing in this video, are some of them are slanted, so it might not clean for that exact three and a half hours. So if it, anyway, it's probably going to clean from three to three and a half hours if you do just the floor mode. Because you can have floor mode, and then you could have, yeah, I'll call it floor mode and standard mode. That's what it says in the manual, this other one. The standard mode will clean, it will start cleaning all the floors, and then at the end of it, it will clean your walls. It does come with filter basket. is an ultra-fine filter basket. This is the filter basket. You'll see me clean this in the video. So that's why it's still wet. That's where all the dirt and bugs go up in. I recommend as soon as this gets done cleaning, pull it out of your pool and then clean this off as soon as it gets done cleaning. You don't want to let all that dirt and bugs and stuff just dry on here. If it dries on this filter basket, it's going to be a pain in the butt to probably clean it. The beat bot is good for up to 9.8 feet. So if you have a in-ground pool and it's right around that 9.8 feet, you should be good to go. Before you put this in the pool, you're, you'll sit it next to your pool. You'll see me start it up 
and then you have to let it sit there for up to like right around five seconds and that's I don't know supposed to calibrate it or something so don't turn it on just throw it right in your pool like at least let it sit there five to six seconds and then you can put it in your pool after you pick whatever mode you want all right, all right let's get this thing started and on I gotta hold that here we go sitting for five seconds on a level ground we'll go a couple seconds longer that must be important here we go Here we go. We're gonna try the steps first. Suck right on the wall. I gotta turn it off. All right, let's see what we got in the filter basket. But I know my buddy's pool was not that dirty, so we got something. It's like you were at the beach. There's a lot of sand. Yeah, but you can see it definitely picked up a lot of sand. I think more so we were just wanting to see how this ran around the in-ground pool. And I think it did a real good job, but it, it didn't clean the sides a real, real lot. But I don't know. I don't think I care about the sides near as much as the floor. Now this is how I clean it out. All right, let me show you what this looks like when it's charging. Just stick it on that charging station, just like that. And then you're gonna see this green light. All right, when this is fully charged, it's gonna have the light on here will be a solid green light. Right now it's just blinking on and off, like orange or red or whatever that color is. I think it's more like an orange. All right, I wasn't even gonna show this in my above ground pool, but really bad because I had my solar cover on for a couple of days and I didn't even know it but there's junk all over inside my pool I don't know if you can see that I mean it's just full of junk and I have my solar cover sitting over there 
So I'm gonna turn this on. I think you gotta just hold this in. There we go, we got that green light and we're gonna put it on floor. Just gotta hold that. There we go. So I got it on floor. I'm not gonna do my walls. Let that sit for five seconds. And then we're gonna put it in. And I'm not gonna show you all the footage of it in there. I'll just show you what it looks like when I get out. And I'll let you know what I think. I'm about 99.9% .9 sure it's gonna work actually quite awesome in my above ground pool. So let's throw this in. There she goes but I just have it on floor. And then I'll show you what it looks like here in a couple of seconds. There she goes. All right, I'll get back to you here in a couple of seconds to let you know what it looks like and what I think of the above ground pool. All right, the beatbox got done running quite a while ago. So, and I do have a couple leaves left, but I've been getting ready for this 4th of the July party and it's crazy windy, so I don't know, just maybe some of the more leaves blew in my pool, I don't know. But let's see what the basket looks like. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> look, at, look at all the junk in there. Can you see all that junk? It's way worse than my buddy's pool, but I definitely have to say it does work in an above ground pool if you'd want to use it for that. Now I only used it on floor because 99% of the time that's all I ever do. I'm gonna spray this out just like I did when I cleaned my buddy's in-ground pool. All right, well, that's about it for this video. I hope I helped you out a little bit, learning a little bit about this BeatBot AquaSense. I definitely recommend this for an in-ground pool, and I'm sure it definitely probably works really well in an above-ground pool.